Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 4 build 17.1.1.0 released yesterday February the 27th so uh, kind of interesting because uh, we had a build and uh, the last one was Friday so it's a pretty close build and that kind of indicates that we are getting in an increased build cycle that means we'll have more builds and we can actually have even two builds in the same week sometimes and typically that just means that we are close to the official uh, spring update now remember that the update is 1803 and tomorrow we are the first of march 2018 that's 1803 so anywhere within that time frame in the month of march we will be in the real deal what is officially the release insiders typically usually get it one to two weeks before everybody else and uh, we're probably thinking of some kind of early april to mid april launch for everybody so what's new in this build uh really nothing much for anybody that is regular windows home user uh, the install in my case was the standard three hour length for that laptop and it had no problems installing what they are doing in here is of course they are um, fixing a lot of bugs uh, what's new is for enterprise the enterprise has something new which is the um, basically addition of ways that you can actually change the the up the download of updates and stuff like that uh, they have tons of little enterprise improvements so you can run custom actions during feature updates and um, so you know all sorts of little things there you can post rollback scripts in system context that's really for more advanced and there's all sorts of commands that come in here apart from that they're fixing a lot a lot of issues in the build and uh, there are some known issues um, after selecting a notification after taking a screenshot game clip that was already there in the xbox app it opens xbox app instead of the video or whatever post install at the first prompt some users will have a problem with um, devices that will simply have a reboot loop state if you do you can actually take a bootable usb from an image and boot of windows 10 and boot into recovery mode and this will allow to bypass the problem also when movie uh, and tv users denies access to its video library so um, pop-up window and through windows privacy settings movies and tv crashes when user navigates to personal tab and they are investigating reports that microsoft store is no longer working and appearing on start all apps taskbar after updating to this build so if you find that the store is missing it is something they are investigating right now apart from that um, you know we uh, can have a build anytime we would have another build this week I wouldn't even be surprised uh, my experience on this build is good I've not had any issues I've uh, of course you know took a little more time to uh, lay, look at it and, and basically investigate and, and, and use the different options uh, before I posted my little quick review and um, you know as we stand out I think this is pretty much what we will have as the uh, 1803 so it's basically the build that is defining what we are getting and what people are going to get um, in about a month's time no issues on my side install went well um, seems to be working well I have one little issue that's kind of weird that I had not had before and it I don't know where it is actually located because if I go to Facebook and try to post a status um, when I did it with Edge the status pop-up window is kind of invisible but there's a little X to close it but I went to do it on Google Chrome Todd, thinking that it was an Edge problem nope Chrome does the same thing so it's some kind of problem with the rendering maybe and within Windows itself um, it's, it's very weird but apart from that got no issues and things are working really really well it's um, you know I don't have any sluggishness or any slowdowns or anything boot up times are normal 
I think we're getting close to a pretty good uh, build. And um, well, if the store is missing, you know that they, it's a known issue, by the way, for everybody. So that's pretty much my quick look at what's happening with the latest build. And of course, we're keeping an eye open for other builds. Who knows? Maybe this week, maybe next week. Uh, anything is possible. We even had, uh, if you guys remember, a uh, build on a Saturday once. So all is possible at this stage as we're getting very close to the official release of uh, 1803 this uh, March. And uh, we still have no name. You know, people are calling it Spring Creators Update, but there's no official name uh, yet. So uh, maybe they should call it by their build numbers, you know, like 1803 for... Uh, the next update and so on. I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, but that could be also a problem if there's many, you know, well, no, because, you know, every year will change to 1903 and so on. Anyways, we'll see what's going to happen with that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.